Okay, see this is uh, this is nothing but the particular QT. Okay, go to new file, new test. Okay, here you have to give your path where you want to save your particular scripts. Because I have created in a drive the name of yours under that in this I want to create it. Okay, I'm giving the path of that. Okay, uh, I'm giving some demo name to the test. I create. What are those? Uh, it says GUI test, uh, API test. What what were they? Okay, we are a uh, GUI testers. Actually, we have API testing is there and uh, different business processing test. These are high level things, and the API testing is nothing but uh, the communication between the particular uh, front end application to the back end application. It means some mediator is there, right? Business layer. Okay, to check that, we are going to use that particular this API test. This business process test and business process flow will be related to the high level people means without doing anything means without less like this they are not going to do any uh, practice means they are not going to do like this uh, coding in that flow that is a high level design okay this is uh, that, that is not related to us we are going to work on GUI test okay nothing but functional test okay. Okay. after user interface test we are going to involve in that API testing also nothing but uh, take uh, a book, book my show lab means uh, you are going to insert your data and you are going to submit it to book that uh, ticket right in bookmyshow.com Which one? Bookmyshow. Bookmyshow.com, do you have seen that? Uh, movie ticket booking. Mm. No. no. Okay, any uh, ticket booking center, I means any ticket booking uh, site take it. In that, uh, you are going to give front end data as your name and uh, how many tickets you needed and your card details and you are going to submit it, right? Mm -hmm. After submitting that, it is going to somewhere to get the approval, right? Yeah. To go, um, means third party has to reach it. After reaching the third party, they have to get the confirmation of that. Means through your details. Means it will send through the XML files. The data will be sent through the XML files to the end of the particular thing. Means where, where the data is needed, it will send to there. And after that, you are getting some response, right? You are sending some request and you are getting some response is that sending request and uh, means uh, getting response is going in a proper way or not is going to test by the api testing okay okay that is not related to us here gui test is our work okay as a functional testers we are going to work in this particular gui test okay okay mm -hmm. then here see that here we have uh, means as a basic learners we will start with something we are going to print right here we are going to use msg box to print something and one more thing this particular qtp whatever you are using db scripting okay it's not a case sensitive okay you can give either capital letters or small letters you won't uh, take it as a serious thing it will just execute the things okay if you means here i have given msg box right if I will put here capital X, nothing will be done. Yeah, yeah. But in Java, if you go in Java, it is very case sensitive. Okay. Okay. It's a case mm -hmm. sensitive thing. Then I am displaying something. Will display the statement welcome to QTP. To display something, you are going to use this thing. Right? Okay. You got it right. This is nothing but just displaying the message in using a pop up box. Okay? If you want to uh, print somewhere, okay, to see the outcome, you have to use the statement print.
see that it will first statement will display the message box and second uh, output will display in the output panel okay where you are going to see i will tell you after executing this this is run button okay whatever you are seeing this is run button otherwise through the keyboard you can give it as f5 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 okay this message box and it has executed the thing you have also that if you want to see one more time go to view yeah it was under yeah yeah if you want to see one more time go to view and output last run oh. here you can see it can i do it one more time no 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 it's clear uh, next this is nothing but basic operations okay means now see with the basic things we will start with the basic things okay first uh launching desktop applications how can we launch the desktop application without opening our cells okay mm -hmm. here in this particular qtp if you want to do the comments you can give single code okay means okay. it is not executed a not executable statement why you are giving comments means to give a reasonable information okay yeah can use one more statement called rem okay, if you use rem also it is a commenting statement okay next invoking the application how can we invoke desktop applications how to invoke the application means nothing but desktop applications i will show you one example here this is nothing but the method related to the qtp okay to launch the desktop applications you are going to use this particular invoke application okay In that this one is a desktop application i want to open uh, this particular application without human interaction so the tool i want to open it how you are going to open it means just right click on it go to the properties and uh, get the path copy the path okay go to your qtp after giving the invoke application in course give that address got it yeah if you give like this automatically it will launch the particular application okay means qtp in, in this particular uh, edit box if you want to execute from some of this step okay i want to execute this one step only i don't want to execute these two statements okay how can we execute means you have to put the cursor on that line and give a right click and uh, click on run from step okay uh -huh. If you click on that, it will execute from the line. From that line, it will execute. From the first statement and second statement will not execute. This see that it has launched. Do you want to see the execution one more time? See that it has launched the application. Like that, you can execute. application notepad.exe i want to open notepad okay right click on the statement i am executing this single statement here see that the notepad has launched okay I want to launch 
calculate replication. Like this, it will invoke the applications, desktop applications. Okay, if you want to invoke the web applications, uh, can we put like a www dot uh, google dot com by using directly invoke application? Hmm? Is that possible? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will try it. Going error okay. because invoke application will be useful for only launching the desktop application. It will not be useful for web applications. If you want to launch web applications, you have to use one more thing called uh, system util dot run. Okay. System till that run. Okay, after some after typing of the thing, just if you are going to give control space bar, automatically it will come the things. Okay. One second, Dikesh. First, you have to build a browser. Actually, 11.5 will support uh, three things I told you, right? Here, I, Internet Explorer is a default browser. You can work on that. And similarly, you can work on other browsers. But it should be compatible with the browsers. Okay? Sometimes, actually, for 11.5, there is a one of the drawbacks because uh, it, is, it will not support in a proper way for uh, Firefox and Chrome. Okay, but I will show you the procedure how to uh, register a browser and how to uh, work on that. But here it will not work because it, some uh, compatibility issue will be there between the particular 11.5 and the whatever the browser I have installed in my system uh, that is the latest version of browser. That's why it will not support. Okay. okay. Got it right. So I will show you with the Internet Explorer first. Then I will tell you how to register the browsers and how to work on that. Okay. Sure. I explore. Okay. Dot exe and just put a comma and you have to give the browser application URL. See that uh, it will open the first. It will open first Internet Explorer. Then it will open the gmail.com application on that see that internet explorer has opened mm -hmm. and under that gmail is open right yeah. got it right like this you can launch the applications web applications okay if you want to open another website Like this, you can launch the applications. 
got it right so this is nothing but this is just like a built in built in commands yes exactly uh, exactly these are all tool options okay directly methods you can use to launch the applications okay invoke application on system util dot run these are the methods to launch the applications invoke application on the, what is the difference between invoke application and system util dot run so invoke application is used only for the desktop application so whatever the application which is installed uh, in the computer <coughs> we can we can launch mm -hmm. using invoke application and a system util run that is for any web based uh, application mm -hmm. yes exactly uh, and uh, the the work is same but it will launch a new application will launch only desktop applications but system util run will launch desktop applications as well as web applications oh is it yeah okay by using system util dot run you can launch the particular uh, these things also nothing but desktop applications util dot run okay just give the address i am giving this same thing Yeah. Has launched this application, right? Yeah. This is the thing how to launch the applications. First, anything if you want to do the operations on that, first you have to launch something, right? Means if you want to execute something, means you have to launch the application first. Then only it is possible to work something on the particular things, right? Correct. Yes. Uh, this up to here. Do you have any doubts? No, I don't have any doubt. You don't have any doubt. Okay, I will continue with the things. I am taking one more test. Here. In this, we have uh, four ways to write the scripts. Okay. okay. First thing, uh, you want to uh, know about something called element identification. Okay, something. If you want to enter something in this particular email uh, or phone number in Facebook uh, login page, how can you enter it manually? Going to the keyboard. First, you are going to uh, first you are going to open the application. Then you are going to uh, means give the put the cursor pointer over there, and then you are going to yeah. enter the uh, keystrokes, right? Correct. Like that means before doing some action on that, you are going to identify something, some element, right? Yeah. Like that only, particular QTP also should identify the element first, then only the action which you are going to direct, it will do that. Okay, means after launching the application, if you want to do some action on the particular element, means you have to identify either manually or by automation. Okay, first, if you want to identify, you need something, right? What what you need to identify an element? Uh, attributes of that particular, so for example, text box or whatever. Nothing but uh, means to identify that element. Uh, how would you identify that element? How would you know? There only we have to enter the username. Name of the text box. Nothing but email or phone number because as a humans we are going to understand the things we have to enter the things over here you have to enter something here we know that okay means by seeing that we know that these are the all the things we have to do but as a tool it has to identify the properties of the text box then only it is possible to enter something into a, a particular text box right correct yeah for that means you need some memory because in your brain you have some memory allocated to this particular element identification 
right if you want to identify some person how you are going to identify from their name name rather than name the face is the unique property right face identification is a yeah. unique property by seeing face. the face by seeing the face itself we are going to identify the person right correct okay. by the name many people are there means say with the same name many people will be available in the particular place but face identity is unique correct okay. like that if two twins uh, stand in front of you how can you identify sorry can you repeat in front of you two twins are uh, standing in front of you two twins you understood twins oh, wait twins. twins oh wait oh wait look sorry i can't get you uh, oh wait it look it look means by seeing the face uh, is it possible to identify the twins hmm? no then uh, no not, not right then how can you identify by seeing some other properties like like uh, color, color of the dress color of hair color or otherwise something else something else diff- must be uh, must be different right something uh, dress color shirt color or pant color or uh, otherwise some name okay you will uh, you are going to identify with other properties rather than face property right mm. like that here also in some pages okay qtp is uh, unable to identify the element uniquely because if the developer while developing the application if he is going to give the same properties for the two elements at the point of time qtp throws an error call unable to means we are finding uh, more than one element in the page we are unable to perform an action okay like that it will throw an error why it will throw an error because the both the things having same properties Mm. right like that here qtp also having some memory okay like human brain qtp is also having some memory to identify the elements okay that memory is nothing but in qtp that is called as repository okay go to the resources and object repository see that i am doing one more time go to the resources and click on object repository okay this thing will come in the picture this is nothing but whatever the elements you are loading into this particular thing those will be stored in qtp memory nothing but this is object repository in the terms of qtp we will call it as object repository means we are going to store objects into this and then we are going to write the scripts in this particular editor okay let us see that how to identify the objects by using this particular object repository okay mm-hmm. i'm uh, i'm working with this first okay then we will go with the web applications okay okay let us see that how uh, means uh, if you want to log in here what you have to do you have to enter something this uh, agent name field and after that i am going to enter some password and then i i am going to click on okay button these are the manual operations i am doing right correct yes i want to uh, convert it as a script how can i convert it first i have to identify the this text box then i have to identify this text box then i have to identify this element okay after identifying that i am going to enter some text into this and after that into this i want to enter some text then i want to click on the particular button right these are the manual operations i want to automate it okay how can i automate it let us see that first i have to identify the element after opening the repository click on this plus sign plus button okay this is nothing but identification of symbol if you uh, you have to uh, show the object to this particular hand icon to load the objects into the repository okay see that i want to load this object okay text box object i am showing that object i am clicking on the particular thing see that it is loading click on okay button it is loading into the particular thing here login is nothing but a dialog box this this is a parent class this agent name is the particular edit box 
nothing but class name is win edit and here class name is dialog okay see that this login is a dialog here and this text box is nothing but it is taking it as win edit class these are the desktop application identification okay okay yeah class names class names observe the class names dialog and agent is nothing but win edit okay win edit class okay login is a dialog okay see that this yeah. is the login name name of the particular element okay then you are observe that here you are seeing some description properties right mm -hmm. like that while you are seeing a new person means in your brain his face image will be stored right yeah like that here by default we qtp is having its own object repository it is going to uh, take the properties automatically by the object repository because whatever the elements you needed means to identify the object that many uh, properties only it will take okay it has taken two properties one is native class and attached text to identify the particular thing you no need to worry about that how it is loading and how it is doing the things how it is going to identify the things just forget about it just you have to know that the things these two properties are suffice to identify the object that's why it has loaded only two properties okay okay then means is that object is having only these two properties no i got a the properties as well like a password and okay but mm -hmm. single element i am speaking about only this single element means while developing the, the uh, application by the developer is he given only the two properties native class and attached text is the two properties are enough to develop this element i guess so, yeah no no okay you are in error okay let us see that here one more option is there call objects file Okay. okay just go to the objects by click on this hand icon and show the element to that hand icon see that this is a win edit see these many properties and values are there to develop the particular element developer has given these many properties but in these total properties it has loaded only it has loaded only these two properties right native plus attached text see that attached text is agent name that has loaded under native class property this one okay native class property edit okay it has loaded only two properties but is how many properties here you have we have many properties right why it has loaded only two properties then Because we clicked on uh, we clicked on the text box. That's why. Here also we clicked on the text box only, right? Yeah, because this is showing like a height, like a measurement, everything, like where to launch. Uh, whether that exactly. Particular, uh, I want to contour that thing. That's why I have uh, shown you two things here. Objects by is used to identify the total properties available for the element. Okay. Here, object repository will go in a smart mechanism. Okay, it will identify only. It will take the element. It will take the properties. How many is needed to identify the element? To identify the element, how many properties needed? It will take only that many properties. It won't load other than that because it means if you are loading all the properties, it will take much more memory. Obviously. the particular performance of the uh, execution speed will be get down right if memory is increasing right. means automatically the particular execution speed will be decrease right mm -hmm. you got uh, do you have any idea regarding this means obviously any way uh, so yeah tell me. in terms of speed you mean to say right yes, when yes, you load yes. everything exactly means when the memory is increasing in your system automatically the performance of the system will get down normally just think that in your uh, pc in your system if the particular uh, uh, files you are loaded uh, you have filled your memory okay how the ram means the speed of the system will get uh, slow right if you are opening something it will open in a slow manner 
Like that only here, object repository is nothing but it's a QTP repository. If you are loading, if it is loading more properties, unnecessary properties, automatically the performance of the system will get down. That's why it will take only the properties, how many needed to identify the element. Okay, if you want to see total properties and values, you have to you uh, identify the element by using the particular objects file. Okay, if you want to load the objects into the repository, simply you are going to open the repository and you are going to load that object into the repository. So, do you think this what whatever whatever the object uh, repository has import by just pressing the text button is that sufficient in terms of like working yes. on a test case exactly that will be enough i will tell you wherever we so, need yes that okay so what is the so what is the objective of uh, using this uh, object spy uh, tool in order to find out two two uh, in two things it will come into the picture some while running the script if you want to find some uh, other properties related to the element how can you identify means uh, here, object spy. means here uh, i have two uh, element properties only native class and attached class but while executing the strip i want to get some other property called uh, some visible okay visible equals to true or not i want to find that for that element okay how can i find it it's not possible right this text property yeah. okay uh, let us take this text property if i i am entering something here and i am going to identify one more time if you go to the text property see that whatever you are entering over there it is coming here right means while runtime it is coming i want to get the text in the runtime how can i get it no, through object spy through object spy only right means while runtime how we are going to get it i will tell you uh, through the script okay but here i'm i'm here to show you the difference between object spy and the object repository got it this is the difference between object spy and object repository okay let us see that now before going to that just how we are going to uh, see the things let us see that but i if i want to log in i need three objects right this one and the password and okay button i have loaded only this particular agent name field now i am going to load this particular password field and then i am going to load this okay button okay yeah got it right yes the, i am showing you here the first way of writing script okay throw the editor this is called editor view okay see that how can i write it if you want to write the program here see that first you have to give the class name what is the class name of this particular parent one first you have to start with the parent class name is dialog right yeah just type a dialog okay then put the open brace observe the screen i am i am putting the open brace i didn't type anything if you put the open brace automatically the property value will come into the picture okay, okay. just close the brace and now you have to identify the child put a dot if you put a dot automatically the particular options will come into the picture under that what do you want to go with first you have to activate the dialog box right first i have to activate it means i have to activate it do to do some operations on that i have to activate the particular dialog box first how can you like this you are going to activate it then you are going to write some into the particular agent name then you are going to password and you are going to write it right first before writing anything you have to activate the things right correct yeah then after activating that then what i have to do i have to enter some text right first the parent is dialog under the child is agent name right what is the class name of agent name we need it we need it 
here put a dot and type something as we need it it will come into the picture just select that okay then put again open brace it is asking for two objects agent name and password those two are having the same class names called we need it okay because both are text boxes right yeah then i am going to identify the particular agent name i want to enter something into the agent name field close that up to now we are identifying the element right dialog first we have identified parent after that we have identified the child right yeah after that i want to do some action nothing but sending some uh, text into the particular text box right okay for that we have a method called set okay it sets the value of the edit box okay mm -hmm. just click here and uh, give some text i am giving dipesh i am going to enter in this particular agent name field as dipesh okay then i want to enter password right yeah tell me how can i write it for enter in password uh dialog mm. and uh, open bracket which we do with mm. and in in edit with the past for mm. we need it then here uh, means we have an option in qtp to encode the password if you don't want to see the password the, by the other people while you, while they are seeing the script you can encode it Okay. Yeah. How can we encode it? Okay. If you go to the particular uh, run button, sorry, Windows, you have to click on the particular start button. Then you have to go for search here. Type password encoder. Okay. This is nothing but it's a option of QTP. Okay. While you are installing, automatically these options will come into the picture. Normally, it won't come. Okay. Okay. If you click on that, it will come me like this: password encoder. This is the option of QTP only. So if you are going to install the QTP, automatically this thing will come into the picture. Okay. Okay. Then you have to enter the password. Actually, password is Mercury. Okay. Just click on generate. Okay. It has encoded string. Right. Then copy it. Okay. I am closing here. I want to enter uh, some encoded string into that particular thing. Right. Here the method is to send that set secure. Okay, set secure and give that particular encoded string over here. Okay. Yeah. After entering the password, what I have to do? Okay. I have to click on the OK button, right? Yeah. How can I click it? Tell me the parent dialog. So the parent <coughs> dialog login. Mm. Then the class name is pin uh, button. Mm. Then if you put the open base, automatically OK will come to the picture, right? Then put the dot and click is the operation to click on the links and click on the buttons, click the radio buttons, check boxes. Okay, you are going to use the method click method. Okay, if you want to send anything to the text box, you are going to use the method called dot save. Okay. Yeah. I am writing here. Sorry, actually, I will I will tell the yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> it's Java. Actually, I am going to teach. Yeah. Them also. <laughs> Okay. Uh, sometimes uh, it will clumsy. Uh, this thing under thing. Don't worry. I can. I, I, <laughs> I can understand this. Right. Okay. This is the comments in uh, QTP actually. Okay. Next. You can uh, in in a VB you can put like a stroke star and star stroke as well. No. If you want to write multiple lines, comment. 
or star stroke uh, i don't have idea because to get in that yes so because i don't know about uh, vb scripting uh, that much that wow, how much needed for testing i know uh, up to that only uh set so this is we talked about uh, just passing uh, two pass like uh, passing just a one uh, uh, password like depeche and uh, and whatever the password is but if we have like a series of uh, or a combination of passwords combination of passwords how can we be combination combination means numerics and uh, strings you are telling right so like in terms of like uh, you know the test <coughs> we want to test with the right uh, uh, positive testing and negative testing uh, mm -hmm. so we want to add like a space uh, and try with that yeah you can and, uh, you can do anything uh, you can do with the values positive values negative values validation part all the things i will tell you you are in a starting stage now if i will tell you all the things at one shot you will get into a confusion okay, okay. in further classes i am going to add one by one one by one things i am going to add i am i am going to deliver it because as a trainer i should not deliver the things like that in a one shot no absolutely otherwise i will i will stop learning qt definitely time. definitely if i will introduce you in your first class itself <laughs> definitely the next day you are going to stop learning because this much difficulty is there this much programming is there why i have to learn like this you are going to feel like that <laughs> that's why i am uh, i'm uh, means injecting you uh, step by step not in a uh, single shot yeah okay here yeah. mm, clicking on button okay, this is nothing but clicking on buttons click method is used to click on the links or buttons or otherwise radio box radio uh, radio buttons and the check boxes also okay this is the things okay means i am discussing you here first i will discuss about the element operations okay we have different types of elements in the pages any web pages or desktop applications you are going to get the particular elements right text boxes and uh, the particular buttons radio buttons check boxes links okay uh, other than this uh, these are the most of the things you are going to see in any application right these are the elements if you know the element operations then only it is possible to work on that particular element and you are going to automate the particular programs right yeah means if you know the element operations then only it is possible to jump into the particular frameworks and then you are going to uh, drive the particular project right mm -hmm. that's why first i am going to start with the element operations then i am going to drive to you into the particular frameworks then i am going to show you the execution of total project talk to bot got it right yeah this is the way my uh, training strategy actually this is nothing but first i will deal with the things then i will go with the particular project implementation with post validations and pre validations all the things are pre conditions are there post conditions are there to write the script you should be right in a position to write the pre condition and post conditions also then only it is uh, means possible to execute the total project get test cases without any human interaction because while you are executing the script means 100 scripts are there in your project while you are executing the script in between the some error come into the picture while you are giving the invalid data and the particular execution has stopped at that point of time then what is the use of executing the total project means for executing the total 100 test cases maybe it will take one or two days okay 100 test total project yeah. execution means it will take much more time to execute the test cases at that point of time most of the times in the company they are going to start the execution in night times before mm. going out of from the company they are going to start the execution process in the evening itself and tomorrow morning they will come to the office and they are going to check the results means if the script is running uh, in a in a way that without stopping the execution means if you are giving invalid data also it has to handle the things right yeah means it has to throw an error and it will go to the next test case and it should execute right if you are giving the invalid data correct means is that possible to sit in front of the system till completion of the total project test case execution no it's not by sitting idle 
is that good way is that yeah. not a uh, good way to write the script is that not a good way to execute the project execution right correct yeah that's why they are going to implement the scripts like that okay if means we have to expect that if the error will come into the picture what is the solution we have to show to the system okay if it is executing successfully what is the out- a way we have to show to the system okay without any human interaction with the system simply is going to start the execution he go he will go to the home after that in the next day morning he will come to the office and he is going to analyze the results got it uh-huh. to do all these things first basically you have to start with the element operations how to handle the elements then only it is possible to handle the test cases then only it is possible to handle the frameworks then only it is possible to understand the total project execution got it right all right yeah let us see that small test case i have written for login functionality here first i am activating the particular dialog box then i am entering some uh, username into this agent name field then i am entering some password into this field then i am entering some okay button here right yeah okay then see that i have written the script i am executing the script okay let us see that i'm clicking on run button see the execution observe the execution first it is activating the window then it will enter username password and clicking on okay button right yeah see that it has given you the login this is one way of writing the script and the best way and we are going to use this this is the way okay and i will tell you we have three more ways to write the scripts okay see that whatever the objects are you are loading here these objects are related to this particular test and under this test this is related to only this particular action right are you there dipesh are you listening yeah sorry what did you say means here whatever the script here is there this is related to only for this particular action one and whatever the elements you are loaded into this particular uh, repository these are all related to only this particular action one sheet okay Correct. let us yeah. see that yeah. i am closing this and i am going to new test if you go to the new test see that here if you go to the repository again it's a fresh repository that is not related to this that is different and this is different okay it's a new test now okay means now again i am loading this objects into the repository the same things i am doing here see that i am loading the same objects into the repository loaded right see that yeah the second way of writing the script you know we descripting the page i done it 9 uh, years back yeah <laughs> okay you, you have some idea right uh yeah then it will be very useful to, very easy to uh, get the things grasp the things okay then see that this is nothing but second way of writing script is nothing but the method drag and drop drag and drop what is drag and drop and how we are going to do the drag and drop first we have to write a uh, dialog activate right we have to write that statement actually normally okay instead of writing just see here just hold this 
okay just drag this to here understood next you have to enter the agent name right just hold this and drag and drop here so by default set uh, by default methods will come in the picture here if you want to change the methods remove this and put a dot you can change the methods also yeah. okay then what i have to enter i have to enter the password just drag and drop and after that okay button drag and drop here i am entering some value into the particular text box and then here i am entering some password into the field i am not encoding here i am directly sending the password see that if i will execute this it will also do the same thing same right yeah you want to see uh, in a slow manner the execution is that very speed right go to the oh, tools a little bit fast yeah yeah, yeah. means uh, go to the tools and click on options and go to the gui testing test runs and you can decrease the speed okay have increased the time to see the particular things we can okay button now we will execute in a slow manner and i am executing the script executing right this is second way of writing script Okay. I am showing you some other way. here see that now this is the third way of writing the script see how we are going to write it here one thing just observe here we have keyword view and editor view is that visible to you if i will highlight that thing it is showing you toggle between the keyword view and the editor view right yeah here this is called editor view okay what you are seeing now this is called editor view okay. if i will click here it will go to the particular keyword view this is okay. called keyword view okay got it right if you click here it is the keyword view if this is the editor view click on this this is nothing but keyword view okay whatever the script you are writing here it will uh, give you in the particular keyword view whatever the keywords you are writing here it will generate the line of statements in this particular editor view it is editor related okay let us see that first before doing i will repeat i will i will i will show you what uh, the things with practical then only you will come here yes, see that first anything you have to load the objects into the repository first Okay, I am loading the objects into the repository. Okay, I loaded the objects. Then, just I am uh, switching into the edit, uh, keyword view. This is keyword view. Then I am going to write the script here, and it will generate the statements over there. Okay, I will show you how. Here, just if you click here in the empty space, 
if you click here below this particular comment just click yeah. give a click over here like this it will come into the picture here this is the first one right just click here. last yeah okay login automatically the operation come into the picture activate okay if you want to change other than that just go to the operations and select the related operation then if you have any value for that you have to give the value but here for uh, activating the window you don't have any uh, values right for entering the agent name you need the values then click again over here then you have to select the proper thing agent name right then the method has came into the picture automatically is set and after that value you have to enter it right just click here give the value over there okay value is I'm giving like this. Okay. Then here, same thing. Next password. Set. What is the password? Mercury. Mercury. And then OK button. Okay. Click. See here automatically the documentation. Nothing but see what did that particular statement do? Make the login dialog box activate. Okay, agent name. Okay, enter the page in the agent name edit box. Okay, and the password. What is the this statement meaning? Enter Mercury in the password edit box. And what is this statement meaning? Click on the OK button. Okay. I have written like this, right? Then see here. I am switching into editor view. One one second. See that? Did I return anything here? No. Automatically, it has generated the statements, right? Like that. If you are going to write in editor view, these things will be generate the statements in keyword view also. Okay. If I will run this program, yeah. it will give the same output. It has executed, right? Yeah. This is the third way of writing the scripts. Okay. Then fourth way, how we are going to write it in a fourth way of writing the scripts. Go to file, new, test. Let us see that how we are going to write it. Let us observe that I am not loading anything into the repository here. Okay. MP repository, right? Yeah. Just I am opening the application. Let us see that. QTP is having one of the option called recording and playback. Okay. If you record the things automatically, it will load the objects into the repository and it will do the action. Okay. How it is going to do and how it is uh, running the things we are going to see in a sequence. Okay, see that. Yeah. First, click on this button, record. Okay. Or otherwise, if you are not going to find in your system, okay, go to record icon and click on this record. Okay. If you click on this record, it will ask two options: web and Windows application. This is Windows application, right? What I am doing here? The flight application is Windows application. That's why I am going for Windows application and I am uh, selecting the first option. Record and run test on any open Windows based application. Means already it is in open state. It will do the operation on the particular Windows based application. Or otherwise, if you go for second option, record and run only on selected thing. Applications opened by UTP, 
and application specified below okay if you add that object here okay means it will work only on the particular flight application it is limited thing we don't need this option right because whatever the thing is available on the desktop i want to work on that particular desktop application i don't want to limit it to the particular application that's why i'm checking i'm clicking the first radio button and after that clicking on apply okay then okay okay then it has started the recording you you observed it right see that mm -hmm. recording the script name the test name is riding script 3 okay observe that whatever the operations i am doing here the count will be increased for every action it will generate one single statement okay let us see here i am entering some dpesh into this particular text box then i am entering something into the password see that one statement has generated in the brackets and after that mercury i am entering mercury and i am clicking on okay button see that three actions has completed okay now i am stopping the recording okay let us observe that it has loaded the means it has written the statements and see here it has loaded the objects into the repository if you are doing record and playback if you are doing recording automatically the objects loaded into the repository without uh, loading into the repository manually okay automatically it will get load got it right okay then if you just click on play button play is nothing but run button automatically it will run the program see that okay it has completed the execution right like this you can write the scripts in many ways okay the command in this four ways what is the best way drag and drop drag and drop rather than that uh, this recording also very easier right without loading the object automatically it is loading the object in the repository right so what is uh, yeah so uh which is the effective way in terms of uh, first way writing the script and first why way. first way why means means we have to draw backs not drag and drop before that i told you typing manually first way i told you type manually dialog of login dot we need it class names by taking the class names i told you first way okay that is the best way why means we have lot of drawbacks related to this particular uh, recording and playback and other options how i will tell you means as a tester means testing means nothing but validations right for every functionality we have to do some validations but by recording it is not possible to do the validations simply it will record the things that's it it is not possible to validate uh, validate the things right understood conditional statements and looping statements are not possible in this particular recording things if you go with the manual typing it is possible and that is the best way in which way you are going to write the scripts you can write it as your own way but here you have we mean system understandable way it will generate the script which is not possible to understand the lines of code sometimes okay which method it is taking how it is entering the data it is not possible to identify sometimes that's why we are going to use this particular editor to write the script manually that is the best way okay drag and drop and these are the things instead of doing all these things i will suggest you go with the particular editor view in the company and in the real time also they are going to use the particular editor view only but you have two options in front of the interviewer if he is going to ask you have to know all the options to show your skill in front of the interviewer right okay that's why i have introduced you the four ways okay gradually i will increase the time of the class because it's not a manual to understand the things in a easier way okay just i am going to wind yeah, the session today yeah. 
I am going to wind up the session today. Bye. Have a nice day. Thanks. Bye.